putting together a very long overdue video to uh, catch everyone up on our progress with our mobile home. And it's been a pretty low time for us. So I'm going to uh, compile a video of what we've been through since our last posting. And um, some of it's in video format, some is just in picture because I just didn't have the heart during some of this to even make videos. The first clip I'm going to show you is from the beginning of October when we took a week of vacation and our plan was to work on the back hillside uh, to get everything kind of leveled out and start our retaining wall. I'm checking if it's a vein or not. So it's just like a rectangle of coal. Just even up the top. You see where the white line is? Up the top? Yeah. Just get that. Okay? Okay. Too bit far. Too far. Bit too far. Mud. Mud. Mom, even though my pants are already soaked, you can see the new droplets, and then they disappear. <laughs> there it came. Here, hand me. It's not coal, it's a brick! I what? want it, I want it anyway. It's what? a brick! I want it whoa, anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want it. <laughs> it's a brick! What's that say? <laughs> oh. I wondered why it was so rectangular. What does it say? I'm trying to see. The... That's funny. Then... Then... Still... I can't read that. Can you? I'll move your glove. Take it down. We discovered a brick. A brick. A brick. We're not the coal miners we thought we were. We're pretty sad coal miners. Whistle while you work. <laughs> I can't whistle. I would if I could. Okay, Dad, let me go shovel some of this. You're kind of funny. You're a musician, you can't whistle. Yep. I can sing. <laughs> da 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 da. Seriously, let me, let me dig some of this. Just a second. I'm on a go here. I'm on a. You're on a go? I'm on a. I'm on a go cart. Yeah, all the bricks I'm we found a, in this hill. I'm on a roll. That's what I meant. I want to go. <laughs> I said, I. I, I want to go. That's what I meant. No, I'm just kidding. What was that? Mom, it's A-T-H-E-N Athens. A-T-H-E-N Athens. A-T-H-E-N-S Athens. Athens block. Athens, Athens block. block. Athens block. Cool. We'll be keeping that. What would that mean? Though? That's the name of the company that made the brick. That brick came from Athens, Ohio. Where Ohio University is. Either way, that was a few feet under the ground. Mm-hmm. Okay. Come on, Jordan, please shovel. I can't do anything. Good archaeologists would say we have a contaminated site anyway, so you really can't go by anything we're digging out. <laughs> Dirty hands. I feel contaminated. <laughs> what do you say? It just wet. <laughs> The side is going to be so embarrassed when, we, when I pick him up because I'm not going to have a shirt on. Oh, don't do that to him. Don't you can wear your shirt. Do you see this? There's no way I can wear this. Not in the van. We're wearing our shirts and they're just as wet. You're going to wear them in the van, are you? Well, you, yes. you probably are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're 
Everyone <laughs> made it. Sure. As you can see, we dealt with rain that week. Uh, at the beginning of the week, which that video shows, the clay was really hard. It was like chipping away at stone. But by the end of the week, we had a slippery, mucky mess down there. And we did not get accomplished anywhere what we had hoped. It was a really discouraging week. Um, we had also hoped to reroute our water line. When we went to check our plumbing and turned it on, uh, we had not turned anything on in the mobile home yet, but the meter was spinning. Our main service line was leaking. We went back to our contractor and he wouldn't honor his work. And so that week we also planned to rent a trencher and uh, run a new water line, tie in to the beginning and end of the old one with couplers. So we had spent the week spinning our wheels and we ended the week literally doing so because we went ahead and rented the trencher against better judgment and it did not like working in clay. Uh, it got hung up multiple times. Um, the battery exploded from all the exertion. Um, it was just a mess. By the end of it, we had to call a um, tow truck to come and tow it out. So just once again, learn from our stupidity. Don't run a trencher in clay. There's also uh, another picture there that shows you a much drier day and that was more towards the end of October where we did have success running the trencher that time. Things were looking up. We got the water line started. Uh, we just needed to get where the trencher ended and started dug out which happened to be about 10 or 12 feet across uh, the bottom of our driveway and that had to be dug out by hand so my husband spent the next few weeks um, just using a pickaxe and a shovel and a post hole digger because he had to get it down to three feet depth our septic line is going to go in above that septic tanks a whole nother issue I don't even want to go there right now he did get all of that dug out, ran the water line, and then the issue became trying to figure out how to couple the lines, and we were fighting the weather. By the time we got to December, um, we just, it was too late. If we had tried to couple those lines and turn on the water, it would have frozen. Needless to say, it was very discouraging way to end the year we had hoped to be in a mobile home by Christmas but as we went into the new year the pace picks up with all the interesting things that happened uh, January 3rd our little Bitsy um, Yorkshire Terrier ended up at the vet needing emergency surgery she had five little bladder stones in her tiny tiny little bladder um, this is major expensive surgery. We're very thankful the vet is allowing us to make payments. And then January 6th, my husband slipped on the ice. It was a very, very bad break. Um, he went into surgery, had an external fixator put in to hold the bones in place, and then had a second surgery. Um, where that was taken out and then 10 screws two plates were put in currently he is still not allowed to bear any weight on that ankle and it will probably be close to a year to be uh, normally using that ankle again that was a devastating blow to our uh, plans to remodel and to move. Um, January 17th, I busted uh, the big side window out of our van. On February 3rd, I made my 
third or fourth attempt at trying to hook up uh, our water couplings, I kept uh, getting the wrong kind of coupling, uh, wrong sizes. Uh, this particular day I couldn't keep the blowtorch lit. You can see from all the matches laying around it. And then uh, two weeks later, February 17th, 18th, and we had major flooding. The view from my front steps. And it did get in the basement of our house. And subsequently, we um, lost our furnace and our hot water heater. It's the house we're currently living in until we can get the mobile home ready. And so just a few days ago from this filming, it was March 10th, uh, we went out to the mobile home site and I gave it another try to um, couple the water lines. Okay, I'm here in front of uh, what's called Crescent McConnell Supply here in my hometown. And this is, I think, the sixth store locally that I've either um, called or tried to get to or researched or walked their aisles. And I think I may have finally what we need to fix our water lines. And it's this uh, coupling right here. Um, I hope this is it. It is uh, for one inch polyethylene uh, water service line. Hi. So here we are digging out the water line for the third or fourth time. Because each time we have to call a halt, then dirt falls back in on it. We found both ends. Now we're just trying to make the hole wider so that when I do get the right size fittings, there'll be room down in there to work. Okay, uh, we went ahead and came down the hill since we uh, couldn't put the fittings in for the water lines. And uh, there's some surprises waiting for us down here, which are not so great. It's just been our luck lately but I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, this is behind our mobile home with the large hill that had been excavated out. And last we were down here, we were working on French drains. And right here you can see uh, where we were digging those out. But if you can look close, the profile of the hill now comes clear up to the edge of the mobile home. And it was a good um, six, eight feet back. The hillside did slip this winter. When we checked it earlier, it had not. So just probably within this last set of storms where we got really heavy rains and flooded, because it looks really loose, I would say that's when that happened. So, um, I guess Elsie and Anna and I are going to start digging that out, and uh, I'm going to have to take stock. So, this is where we are now. Um, I always like making fun and happy videos, and I just really didn't want to post a gloomy one but it's just been months of one thing after another so I finally decided it was time to catch up we've gained some subscribers and so I want to say hello to all of you who have subscribed since I finally buckled down and made this video I do hope to be posting more regularly my plan right now is to move to move the dirt it's going to have to be done by hand there's no way to get any equipment uh, into where it is. I just want to say that even though we've had such a, a hard six months, um, life has not been all bad. We have many things to be thankful for and I just want to say right now that our two youngest kids have been such a blessing 
to me and to my husband during this time. And they've pitched in over and over and over again. And I know they'll continue to do so. I also want to say that we have friends and family and church family who've been uh, alongside us during all of this and have really supported us and I'm so thankful for that. So um, I'll just end saying that uh, if you think of us, uh, say a prayer that positive things are right around the corner for us and we would so appreciate that. And I hope that when we come to you with the next video, we'll have good things to share. So, get digging. Bloom, despair, and agony on me. Deep, dark depression, excessive misery.